This year in the U.S., more than 70 million people will have surgery. Studies have shown that many of those surgical patients will experience post-operative nausea and vomiting, or POMV, even if they took medicine to prevent it. Studies have also shown that nearly 80% of POMV occurs up to 48 hours after surgery and often after discharge from the recovery room. Studies also revealed that patients find vomiting to be the most undesirable consequence of surgery, even ranking above pain. Postoperative nausea and vomiting is still a major unmet medical need. Despite significant amount of research that's gone over the last number of years to try to optimize therapy. It sometimes occurs for about 30 to 40 percent, but sometimes it can be higher, up to 70 to 80 percent, depending on the populations as well as the surgical procedures. There are strategies that can be taken to reduce a person's risk of POMV. Using regional anesthetics, keeping patients well hydrated, avoiding narcotics, painkillers such as morphine, using agents that would reduce the incidence of POMV during surgery, as well as using medications that specifically lower the incidence of POMV. The people who are at risk for POMV come from a series of clinical as well as observational studies can be broadly categorized into three areas. Demographics, people have a previous history of PONV, um, who have a history of motion sickness, non-smoking status, as well as being a female, cause an increase in PONV. Additionally, certain surgical procedures, for example, gynecologic surgery and laparoscopy put a patient at risk for PONV. And then finally, there are certain therapies which include inhalational anesthetics, as well as opioid analgesics that are used to treat post-operative pain. PONV is not only unpleasant to the patient, but it is also costly to the healthcare system. Charges for extended recovery room time, medications and surgical support supplies, as well as overall hospitalization charges, are a burden to the system and patients. Add to that the misery of PONV itself, not to mention potential lost wages for the patient due to extended hospitalization or rehospitalization. POMV can cause significant discomfort to our patients. In surveys, patients tell us that they would rather endure some degree of pain if they can be free of POMV. It can also sometimes cause dehydration, body chemical imbalance, as well as to affect their normal daily activity after surgery. In some cases, it can cause wound disruption, resulting in reoperation. Surgical patient Vicki Vaughn said the nausea and vomiting she experienced after surgery came as a surprise. The nausea and vomiting, the vomiting was much worse than uh, the pain. Um, the pain you expect, but the vomiting and the nausea, um, just you don't expect it when you have surgery. I think it's important, especially for patients who are at high risk, to know certain things about POMV. One, uh, that it can occur very frequently. Two, that it occurs very soon after um, a patient wakes up from anesthesia. Third, in certain cases it can occur very much removed uh, from when a patient wakes up from anesthesia. For example, when a patient goes home from an ambulatory surgery, an outpatient surgery center. I think it's also important for patients to know that their, their physician uh, providers who provide care for them during surgery as well as after surgery uh, can come up with a treatment regime to minimize uh, the impact of PONV.